This is um, a beautiful piece of ribeye meat. And what I've done is I've just rubbed blue cheese all over the steak and I've left it in this cheesecloth or wrapper or just kind of wrapped tight. You can do some plastic wrap or whatever, put it in a container. You don't have to be so specific about it. And I let it sit in the fridge. Two days is really great. A day is fine. Even if you'd get it in there for you know, an hour or half an hour, that's great. So just think of this as a marinade. What we do is we take the steak out and you can see it's got all that blue cheese funk and like uh, it smells beefy and cheesy and it smells like dry aged beef. And then we just scrape that off here, we take that meat and we're gonna cook it sous vide, right? What we've done is we've scraped the blue cheese off, we put the meat in here, we pop it into our sous vide machine. It sounds a lot more crazier than it actually is. And we cook it for about two hours. I've sous vide that piece of beef and now I just sliced it and it's, gonna, it's just gotta bloom a little bit. But I'm gonna show you, let's see if you can see it right there. We're gonna sous vide some carrots as well. We basically would take the machine, we turn it up really high to like 80 degrees, 90 degrees Celsius, almost boiling. We put our vegetables in the bag. All of the juice from the vegetables, same thing, are going to stay in here. I've put a lot of butter in here, but you don't have to do that. And we cook our vegetables. You can't have steak without potatoes. I mean, I'm still, I, I still feel like that's kind of a great combination. So smoked mashed potatoes, um, exactly how it sounds. We've made mashed potatoes, and then we popped them in our smoker. Now we're going to um, sear this beef. So I have a hot pan over here. So I'm gonna throw this beef in here and start to sear that. But we're searing this, we're throwing some garlic in there and we're throwing some rosemary and thyme in there. I'm basing it, all the butter, the garlic, the herbs is inside of that. Let's, let's pull this over there and rest. We're gonna make porcini onion rings. All right, so we're gonna flour those onions up. And then one of my other favorite tools right here, this is a, a, this is a seltzer gun. In here we have beer, vodka, and some flour and porcini powder, right? So this has got mu it's a mushroom batter in here. And then I'm gonna shoot this into the bowl. All right, so there we go. That's a batter right there. Joplin's gonna now dip the, the onion rings in the batter. We're gonna dump them into a fryer, but just because I'm out of my mind, the fryer's filled with beef fat. Um, we're gonna start plating, all right? We're gonna start plating with a little bit of our, our smoked potatoes. We have our beef laying down right there. So we're gonna, we're gonna plate our onion rings right there. So we're going to drop our, our kimchi ketchup down on here. All right, so a little bit of uh, nasturtium salad. All right, we're going to plate some of these carrots, a little beef jus and red wine. And we're going to finish this now by smoking this dish. We have some hickory wood in this smoker over here. There we go. It's filling up in there. Get it up. Okay, we're good. All right. Then it comes to the table. Whoa. 